What up, guys? What? Are you um, kidding me? A book of pictures of murder sites? I can't believe that you haven't been informed. I It'll looked, be on the shelves next I looked month. it up. I think this President is canon. President of our firm, Mr. Horace Hennegraff, is the artist who designed the book. He wants to have a chat with a famous detective and get the real nitty-gritty from a pro. And he'd like to get some of your insights in the forward if you'll agree. You're I saw the name right. of the next episode, <laughs> and it says Ghost Ship, I think. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Please forgive us. Excuse me. My dad Pickles. was under the impression that the whole book was going to be about him. We tried to tell him that there was no way. Isn't that right, Conan? Mm -hmm. Look, as you say, um, I'm a famous detective. Yo, Rich, you got some pointy ass. Cheap. We're prepared to pay you a thousand dollars, and your face would be on coffee tables everywhere. Well, if I must. <laughs> a thousand bucks, bet. Yo, if I had a thousand bucks, I'll, I'll, I'll buy like a. What the hell is going on here? What is this stuff? Nail polish? Like From a your very like own a, line of makeup. Like a mic. It's nice color, isn't it? It'll be out in stores today. I look wrong. What's next? Long term, I don't know. But right now, you have an appointment she did with a detective it. who's probably sitting in your office as we speak. You're supposed to meet him at five. Five? I'm late. Have no fear. <laughs> I've already put your pants on for you while you were sleeping. Oh, thank you. But no more. What else did he do, say. ho? What if my wife saw that on my face? Oh, <gasps> cheating! Find out the two of you would get a divorce, and then you and I will be free to get married. Cheaters! Oh my God! What do you think you're doing? I've told you, my relationship with you is strictly business. In exchange for oh. your services, you get to work as an illustrator and live in this condo. It's as simple as that. The truth isn't simple. What the? My wife has a pretty good idea of what's going on. We have our own arrangement. Well, I didn't mean the truth about us, dear. About your drawings. <laughs> How would your adoring fans like to know the? that I did 60% of your drawings? What a scandal. Wait, you wouldn't. Wouldn't what? Slap you in the face? Tell the truth to the entire <laughs> art world? Your work wouldn't be worth the paper they're ruining. Fool. Who's going to believe that? novice illustrator like you drew those henocrafts. Oh, but didn't you know, Horace? I put a hidden seal on the pictures I drew, and it's on every last one of them. What? You're bluffing. That's it. I'm so Have confused. Pay careful attention to the little All her symbol nudes? beneath your signature on the pictures. Huh? That's my handiwork. Cheaters. Damn. Pretty nifty, huh? And so there's no confusion. I put the same symbol on my own originals. Which, by the way, are She's gaining dead? popularity <laughs> thanks to the exposure that I've gotten from working under you. Even though you've done what a dumb bitch. She's that, gonna get murdered. I guess hard work really does pay off eventually. Wouldn't you agree, Horace? Oh, oh hard work is how oh, like she rides him and stuff. It's done. Hope you like it. Yeah. Five thirty. Forget <laughs> this. He's late. No luck, sir. I this can't is reach new. Him at home and I'm We've never. At his studio. That's strange. Why don't you? We've never seen him? the murder he like that. Today. Maybe he's like there. straight up. What's that? We think he might be at our new illustrators. But don't worry. She lives in one of those condominiums right across the street. Like we've never seen the 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 murder. Like we see the reason why and like oh my yeah. What am I going to do? Whoa. <laughs> This is a cool perspective, hey there, yo, the way they're doing this. I'm either away from the phone or I'm screening my calls. Leave me a message if you dare. See you later. Hey, Sadie. That's scary, though, this like. from the office. We're trying to track down Mr. Hennigrin. Give us a shot if you've heard from him. All right, see ya. Oh, my God, he's hello, gone straight up evil. Uh, hello? Anyone there? It's, it it's scary, like, if you just lose your... Call. Something Come might snap. What are you looking at? And you make a mistake like that and kill someone? That condo there. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. That's scary. What about it? Somebody I'm... hung their sheets out, but it's rainy. Oh, yeah. That's actually Miss Olivet's balcony. That's funny. We just I mean, I her. obviously wouldn't because I'm not a psychopath. All right. Enough is enough. This is nuts. Do you treat all your VIPs this way? Uh, yes. I, I mean, no. This is very unusual. <laughs> Please, understand, <laughs> yes. detective. Mr. Hennegraff? Mr. Hennegraff, where on earth have you been? I know, I know. I'm There's waiting. killing. I'm asleep in my studio. Killing. I'm sorry. Your studio? But I called there several times, sir. Of course. I woke up to the phone ringing. <laughs> Detective Moore, my uh -oh. apologies. It's an honor to meet you. What happened uh -oh. to your nail? It's pink. It is? Oh, shit. Is that pink? 
painting? Oh, no, no. I was painting earlier. I guess I got some on me. Two days ago, it was a big white spot on my beard. It was there all day. Finally, a cashier took pity on me and told me about it. Luckily, I can clean it right off this time. If Sadie calls about her drawing, Dude. please put her through. I just got a, a copyright. <laughs> Even from the grave, you're still finding a my way email. to vex me. I put uh, I put my oh, bride as a mermaid, and, design. <laughs> and it got blocked. Oh hey, hold on just a second. Sadie's on the line, Mister Hennegraff. Huh? Wait, bitch, what? Drawing. The magazine said they have to have it today. What do you mean you're going to die? <laughs> Jump off the balcony. Oh. No, no, no such thing. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yo! She did it! This! Look at this! It's so much to look at the dude's face! Yeah, bro, he's yeah, smiling! 25 year old female named Sadie Olivet. I'll call you back with the details. Yo, that's. So you're her boss. And it's pretty and smart, she was though. working as an illustrator for your art design company. Is that correct? Hey, sir? he's still like a yes. freaking murdering piece of shit, bro. She was still pretty new, but she had good curves and a nice touch. I had every intention of keeping Bitch, her what? Up, but when she called, she was distressed. She oh. said she had no talent and wanted to die. And right after that, she jumped off the oh, balcony. They... I thought he was talking about and her you body. saw it all go down from across the street. <laughs> yes, we were in the office. Hmm. She's wearing contact lenses. That's strange. Aren't those her glasses? Yeah, why would she put her... Well, judging oh, by the testimony shit. from the witnesses, I think it's safe to say that she committed suicide. <laughs> yeah, that was... No, Inspector. This isn't suicide. She was murdered. I'm sure of it. She was probably Damn. already dead when she fell off the balcony, or rather, when she was pushed Bruh. off the balcony. And if she was already dead, I want to get that close. Suspect is you. You tried to keep her from committing suicide on the phone. Did he have an accomplice push her off after the phone call? No, that's impossible. We could see that she was the only one on the balcony when she fell. <sighs> Which means there must have been oh, some Conan's trick involved. Sick. Somehow he pushed her off the balcony from across the street. We need an ambulance at the pier. Oh yeah, yeah, look, look. On Mason Avenue. Ten four. He it's paid off a cat. Isn't this strange. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at Miss Olivet's eyes. Pushed it off a little bit. She's wearing contacts. So what's the big deal? Well, if those are her glasses, then Do she must have had them on when she fell. But why would she have her glasses on if she was wearing her contacts? <laughs> <laughs> point. Maybe she was murdered and the killer was decorating the stiff for the bon voyage. How could it possibly be murdered? Hey, he lost some weight. The more you saw as well as I did. Sadie was alone on the balcony. Nobody pushed her off. She jumped. It was heartbreaking. We all saw it. <laughs> Yo, his acting. The door's not locked. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, man. He's so many... Oh, he fucked up bad, bro. He didn't now clean up the nail. scene. What would a nail be doing here? Uh, 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 Rachel, put a leash on this oh kid. Oh my will god! Ya? What a shame. Why bro. Did such a beautiful girl chum. Hmm. Slippers. Without Conan, he's nothing. And a broken flower pot. Hmm. The debris from the flower pot. She's a cheater, so. <laughs> You're snooping. Didn't you hear what Dad said? That's a no-no. Here's a case to her contacts. It was Why? Right here on the counter. It bothers me that she had her glasses on. It doesn't make sense. Well, she was freaking out. Maybe she forgot she had her contacts in. Men, listen up. She may be a jumper. Keep an eye out for a suicide note. <laughs> like a going in. Hmm. All right, you two. What's this all about? Well, Sadie liked to paint on people's faces while they were sleeping. Those are from our company trip last year. It was fuck. just her little way of having fun. She got a real kick out of it. She drew the same mark on both of them. What does it mean? Well, that's actually her signature. She never signed her name to her artwork or illustrations. She would just paint that little symbol instead. It's a shame. She was just starting to get popular. Her drawings were really taking off. <laughs> I could sure use a rose I'm, beef. I, Inspector McGuire, there's <laughs> nail polish on the floor. Rose beef, ew, I don't like hey, that. Hey, that's that new stuff. It just came out in stores today. All the girls at school have been raving about this new color coming out. Hey. Put them together. Is on the bed right here? Nice, kid. That's the stuff, all right. 
But why would it be here? Mm -hmm. It wasn't on Miss Oliver's Shake fingers crumbs. or toes. Huh? The only one with that color on their fingernails was Miss Olivet's boss. <laughs> Mr. Hedder. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't nail polish. It was paint of a similar color. I was painting at my studio. And, and the way. On me. You just failed the Conan's a savage. detector test, Tenograph. You're the killer, all right. But how did you do it? How did you make it seem like Sadie jumped off the balcony when you were across the street with us? Bro, Conan's a savage because he really looked at him and smiled when he said it. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by her case, she had soft contacts. But if that's true, where's the soaking solution? Shouldn't she have both? It only makes sense. Bro, so, like I said. Mm. Oh, Rachel's starting to beat him too suicide. now? Come on, Rachel. Mm. Well, you don't run a note if you're murdered. Hello? Uh, huh? Excuse me, I'm the bike courier, and I forgot to leave a receipt for the pickup I made here earlier. Yeah, when was that? What pickup? I came by at 6.30. What? 6.30? That's when Miss Olivet jumped, right? Yeah. Did you see a woman here when you came by? No, sir. I was told that the package would be right inside the door and that I was supposed to pick it up at 6.30. I was right on time. Then I delivered it to the people at the magazine for Mr. Hinograph. I was oh. in such a rush that I forgot to leave this. What? Ordered by Horace Dude, Hinograph. he was accomplice, but he didn't so know. <laughs> the one who ordered the courier. Now, what's wrong with this little scenario, Hinograph? You schedule a pickup and Miss Sadie jumps Maybe. at the exact same time they arrive? Come on, that sounds awful the door. to me. Please, I can explain. The Miss wind? Olivette called me earlier today. She said that her illustration was ready, so naturally I scheduled a pickup. She worked on it all night long to meet the deadline, and I arranged it so that she wouldn't have to get out of bed when the courier arrived. Did anything strike you as unusual when you made your pickup? I believe anything it. At all? No, I'm just kidding. Well, there was the door. When I'm I turned the handle, it opened on its own. It was like someone yanked on it, but no that's one was what there. it was. Maybe she opened the door. Did you see her? That's what I thought, but it swung but open real fast, and no one was there. I found a nail on the floor, though. A nail? Yeah, that's right. The door opened. I saw the nail, and then I heard something break inside. Huh? Wait a second. Okay, I don't know how that happened though. I'm gonna be real with you. How the door yanked so hard. Lucky break. He got snagged on a piece of broken flower pot. Now I see what how is that? You? It all makes sense. Not a bad little trick. So, Mr. Hinograph, you are the murderer. You killed Sadie Olivet. Dude, why does he look like a vampire? Yo, I like this perspective though. This it's new, it's something new. Uh, I wonder if it happens more around? often. I mean, like, more cases. Bro, he's so annoying. Dude, please let him fall. Let me fall over this. <laughs> Since I can't hide behind him, I'll have to use this little speaker. Really? You figured out who the killer is? What? That's right, you heard him. Miss Sadie Olivet didn't commit suicide. Her boss killed her. Oh. Horace Hanegraaff is the murderer. What are you saying, Moore? Come on. You know that Hanegraaff couldn't have done it. You're reaching. He wasn't even here when it happened. <laughs> right. Mr. You're Hanegraaff reaching. Was across the street when it happened. We were all standing in the office together when Miss Olivet fell. We were right up there, weren't we? They've been saying that You're since exactly back then. Right, young man. That's true, but you were still You're able reaching. to do it from across the street. And I can show everyone how that you started like enough to round up some strong fishing line and a nail, Inspector. Like, recent. Uh, of course. Not too recent, yeah, but you know, like the last some 10 years. Yeah, hot coffee and a soy sauce container, too. A soy sauce container? If you say so. Here you are, Richard. We're making the coffee as we speak. Now, would you mind telling me what this is all about? Right, I'll show you. But I'm going to need your help setting it all up. There you go, Inspector. That's it. Stretch the loop the entire distance from the oh, railing of the out. balcony to the front door. Now pull one end of the loop through the dummy that we made to represent Miss Olivet. Then pull that same end over the top of the railing and back through it onto the balcony. Like this? So the author yeah. um, tested the this out? Plant with the loop. Perfect. Now pull the line taut while walking toward the front door. But be careful not to break the potted plant. Then put the loop around the intercom, slide the line around the dummy, and walk it out until it's suspended just over the balcony railing, all the way over. Damn, all that? Then Mr. Hennegraff draped a sheet over the balcony railing. 
That's how he kept the body hidden while he returned to his office across the street. Oh, now all wow. Remove the loop from the intercom and put it around the nail. Then he shut the door on the line so the nail would keep it from slipping through while the body held it securely on the other end. Now I get it. The guy didn't see the nail? Held up by the nail I, the I would've. When somebody opens the door, the nail pops loose and the stiff goes curse flat on the street. You're exactly right, Inspector, and that somebody happens to be the yes, courier that Hennegraff called. He used the courier as an unwitting accomplice who would make the body fall once he was back in his office. <laughs> what a Imagine he gets convicted. Especially since there was no trace of fishing line found. How do you explain that, sir? Very easily. What? By using the <laughs> soy sauce bottle and the leftover fishing Very line, easily. you were able to rig it so the line disappeared. It was ingenious, really. First, you tied the remaining line between the corpse and the potted plant. Then you threaded the line through the outer and inner lid of the drain and tied the end of it to the soy sauce bottle. All you had to do then was put everything back in the drain the way it was, except with the soy sauce hanging down. Well, I say soy sauce, How do these people come up I used. with this? Any shit. weight would work fine, like, say, the bottle of contact lens soaking solution that disappeared from the fridge. But enough talk. Let's test this contraption out. It's time to open up the door of fate that will lead to a man's innocence or chain him to a dark future of atoning for one hateful act. It'd be cool, like, in the end of the episode, like, the author would, like, show him how he experimented, like, how he did it in real life. What? It worked! You! See what's at the bottom of that drain! Done, sir. I checked as soon as Detective Moore mentioned the drain, and I found this. Enough of these lies! I was on the phone with Miss Olivet until the moment she jumped. What's more, she's the one who called this... me! Use your brain! Oh my Her God. cell phone was on the balcony! Hit redial. I'll bet it will put you through to my office. Shut up, cheater. Yes, I'll bet it will because you made sure of it. You called your office on Miss Olivet's cell phone before you left here so that it would be the last number called on her phone. Frederick thought it was a prank call because you didn't say anything. <laughs> you just hung up. The cell phone bill will show that the call was made well before the time that Sadie supposedly jumped. As for the call for Miss Olivet that came in once you arrived at the office, you made that yourself in the bathroom when you were cleaning off the nail polish. But when I answered, I heard Sadie's voice. You. What you heard was a recording of Miss Olivet's voice that Mr. Hennegraff had taped earlier from the greeting on her answering machine. Hey there, this wow, he did when he was taking a shit. After Mr. Hennegraff took the phone from Frederick, he made sure that we looked at the balcony in time to see the body fall. Since no one else was on the balcony, it appeared to be suicide, when in fact Miss Olivet was already dead. He probably Damn. used the ashtray that was underneath Sadie's desk in her drawing room to hit her on the head and kill her. I'm sure that a lab expert would find traces of blood under a microscope. Nonsense. Bro, you would I not want to murder anyone by you don't have around any that Conan. I was in the <laughs> earlier today. There's no way that you could. Because I wasn't here before. I came up when you came up. Here's the coffee you asked for, Detective Moore. Well, Detective, I'm waiting. Thanks, officer. I'll take it to him. You got it? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Damn it! Do you have proof or not? What's that? Fingernail polish? Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> Wait a second! That's the same symbol that Miss Oliver painted on her faces! Exactly, Inspector. Wait, how did he know? Sadie loved to play tricks on people while they were sleeping, as she did today, when Hennegraff was sleeping in her bed. For the love of Pete, That's Whoa, crazy, how did though. you figure that one out? Well, even though some fingernail <laughs> polish had been spilled on the bed, Miss Olivet didn't have any on herself. But Mr. Hanegraaff had some on the nail of his little finger. Oh, Not only that, but makes the color sense. On his finger matched the color on the bed. If you weren't in this condo earlier, Mr. Hanegraaff, then who painted that symbol on your toe? And when and where was it done? Sir, how could you? Sadie was our friend. I don't <laughs> understand. Why would you do something so horrible? I, I don't care about none guess, of them. The girl that died or him, because cheaters. Miss Olivet's symbol appears beneath Mr. Hennegraff's signature on a good number of his illustrations. She probably drew those for Mr. Hennegraff in his style, and then he took the credit for them in his books. I suspect this led to a was big home argument. Was a homewrecker in those? Oh, all right. Damn it, I killed her. She wasn't satisfied. She wanted more of me than I was able to give. And yes, she did do many of the drawings I took credit for. She threatened to go public with that. Oh, I didn't damn. Mean to kill her. I went mad. At first, she was like a cute and obedient butterfly. My creative ability was like <laughs> obedient. A that nurtured her. 
But it's time what? Passed, so what are you saying? To dominate the flower and suck too much honey out of it. That's why. I hey, you should suck a lot more than just honey. What what kind of weird shit are you saying, dude? Get out, just go to prison. Uh, that was a good one, though. I like that perspective, bro. I really do. Um, rest in peace, though. You know, to the home wrecker. You know what I mean? But this guy's done. He's capished. All right, let's see here. Go. What? You'd like to put my dad in your TV commercial? I'm not really sure if he'd be interested. Yeah, hello. This is Detective Richard Mork, and I am Mula. You're really getting popular, Dad. First the art book, and now a TV commercial. And I do all the work. <laughs> What's fair about that? For real. What? Not a chance. Find someone else to be in your stupid commercial. Wait, what happened? So, Dad, why don't you want to do it? If I tell you, it doesn't leave this room. It was for hemorrhoid cream. What? Right. <laughs> Detecting where to put that cream is a case Richard can solve. Nah, you. yo, not gonna lie, bro. I ha I've had a hemorrhoid one time, you know, right, you know where, you know, this is where, right there. When I was, oh my god, oh man, that was that was horrible, bro. That was horrible. Just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying it because <laughs> that's horrible. Wait, a is, it doesn't mean that Richard had a hemorrhoid. This was awful. But hey, thanks for watching. Um, by the way, for any of my any Yasha um viewers, um, I'm gonna do like a little. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I did with um with Conan yesterday. You know, like I I put out like four episodes. Um, so I'm gonna try to put like four or five um Inuyasha episodes, and it's gonna take a while because obviously I can't put it on YouTube. So I it, it takes a long time downloading it to the to the other link and stuff. But I got you tomorrow, right? I love you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. And um, please leave a like if you enjoyed. And um, yeah.